Greetings to those who watch below. Before we start today's creepypasta story, I'd like to say a huge thank you to those who dwell below, an exclusive channel membership that gets you shout outs at the start of every video. So thank you to Steffi Ray, Wicked Witch, Lisa Watts, Lefty Kim, M.A. Wade, Julie B, Jess Black Curtain, Christina Groves, LT Punisher 666, and Chris BLK Chris. I really appreciate the support that every single one of you gives the channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscribe button along with a notification bell next to it so that you never miss out on any of the videos on the channel. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. She Waits for Me in the Tub by A. Reader. I failed, and now I don't know what to do. To clarify, I write about, and sometimes perform, popular rituals I find online. Yeah, it's kind of a stupid hobby, but I thought it was fun. I even made money from recording some of them and posting them on YouTube. It also boosted my confidence. Sad, but whenever I performed a ritual successfully, or had a close call, I felt as if I escaped death's grasp, as if I was slowly building a type of immunity to it. But after this last one, I now see that I was blinded by my arrogance. I know she is waiting for me in the tub. If you're wondering what game, what ritual I messed up, it was the bath game. If you're on this page though, then you probably already know about it. At least, I hope you do. I hope you can help me. God, I hope one of you can. I'll start from the beginning. I was, like most of these types of stories, bored and out of ideas. I had just read Tomino's Hell to a live audience on my YouTube channel and was scrolling through Reddit for new ideas when I came upon someone's account of their bath game. I already knew a bit about it from other people's stories and online narrations, but I never thought about performing it before. It just never caught my attention or imagination like the other rituals did. Some girl trips and kills herself on the bathtub's tap, becomes an angry ghost, and ends up becoming a ritual, just doesn't seem as cool as a cursed poem or a way of asking spirits questions. But, as I said, I was bored and out of ideas, so I read the ritual and prepared. It started off fine. I turned the lights off, managed to get into the tub with my eyes closed, and started to wash my hair as I kept repeating, Daruma San fell down. If it wasn't for my imagination conjuring up her gruesome fall and her blood dripping down into the tub, this would have been a relaxing experience. Soon after, I felt something rise up behind me. The smell of mangoes, coconuts and sulphur started filling the room, causing me to gag. That was my cue to leave the bath with a final question. Why did you fall in the bathtub? I remember walking to my room, concentrating on not tripping over the pile of clothes I had left in front of the washer, getting into bed, and falling into a dreamless sleep. The next day was ordinary, in the worst way possible. Throughout the day, I constantly looked over my shoulder. I even only went to the restroom at my part-time job whenever I was sure someone else was in there. And nothing happened. No lady in a white dress several feet away, staring at me intently. No odd blend of sweet and rotten assailing my nose. Nor the feeling that I was being watched by a malicious, unseen pair of eyes. It got to the point where I thought that I was in the clear. That for some reason, the ritual failed, even though I performed everything right. I guess that's why I did what I did. I fell asleep. I knew that it was a bad idea but I hadn't seen Daruma-san all day. I figured that if I shouted Kitta at my bathroom and performed the karate chop, it would still end the game. It didn't. This must have angered her, because when I supposedly woke up at 2.30am, I couldn't move. I know what sleep paralysis is. I've experienced it before. So I wasn't scared when I realised I couldn't turn my head. I only started to feel afraid when I heard the sound of running water surrounding me and soft, squishy footsteps making their way towards my room. I could, once again, smell the strange scent of sulphur and fake fruit 
growing stronger. I shifted my eyes towards my door, trying to remember if I locked it that night, when I heard it slowly creak open. Standing there was the silhouette of a woman, neither tall nor short, but entirely blocking my only exit. She stood there as I tried to decide whether I really wanted to keep my eyes open or force them shut. Before I could figure out which was worst, she ran straight for me. Whether it was due to the surge of fearful adrenaline or pure luck, but before she reached me, I managed to scream, Tamare! I managed to stop her, but she was now right next to me. Her clammy hand was on my bare shoulder. I could finally see her. Everyone online describes her with long black hair that slowly sways from an unknown breeze, and an empty socket that still had blood oozing down from it. They were right, but they never mentioned how her skin still had old water sliding around on it, that you could see her darkened blood vessels underneath nigh translucent skin, or that her remaining eye was so cloudy with age as she watched me. They never talked about how unseen water dripped from the ceiling on top of your head every few seconds, an unnerving countdown to what would be a grisly end. The sound of rising water was louder now. I could see steam rising from the edges of my bed, but I never took my eyes off her. We just stared at each other as the water rose up over my bed, waking me from my sleep. If it weren't for the wet footprints leading up to my bed from the bathroom, I would have written it off as nothing more than a bad dream. Since then, I haven't slept, and I've been avoiding my bathroom. I keep going over to my neighbour's apartment to use theirs, saying that there's something wrong with my bathroom's plumbing, but I'm not sure how long I can keep doing this. Each time I walk past my bathroom, I can hear water sloshing around in the tub and feel the faint touch of steam slip between the cracks of the closed door. Each time I close my eyes, I hear her whispering about how she will drag me into the bathtub to join her. And the worst part is, it's 3am and I really need to pee. So please, hurry. She's waiting for me in the tub. Hi guys, thank you so much for listening to today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As for me, I'll see you tomorrow for another terrifying video. So, until next time, sleep tight.